guys, it's Maddie. For today's video, I am going to be showing you guys everything that I buy in a month for my pets. This was filmed over a couple of days. Obviously, all of this shopping in one day would be very overwhelming. So over the past like week, week and a half, I've been collecting different things for the video to show you guys what I buy for my animals in a month. So while it may seem like a really big exciting pet haul, this is literally what I do every single month for my animals. Before the video starts, if you guys haven't already, take a second to click the subscribe button. I'm trying to get to 15,000 subscribers by Christmas, so it'd be super helpful if you subscribed. I post videos of my animals every single week. Also, um, I ordered a package from Amazon. As you can probably see in the thumbnail, it has the Amazon logo, which I'm going to leave there. But I'm upset because Amazon Prime did not come through and my package got delayed. My Amazon Prime package is going to take a week to get here. So it was supposed to get here four days ago, but it got delayed and it says that the estimated time of arrival is not known. So I guess I will just tell you what I got in that package and it's not really much. The mouse food that I feed my mice is not available in stores around me, so I have to order it online. So the only thing that I order from Amazon as of right now is the Oxbow Young Rat and Mouse Food and that is what I feed to my mice. All right, so I am on my way to the Sin City Reptile Expo. This expo happens once a month and it's Sunday, November 12th today, so it is the November Expo. So I'm going to get the bugs for my animals, which I get once a month. Sometimes when I have more lizards, I get super worms from another place because it's cheaper, but for the sake of convenience, I don't have that many animals that eat super worms, so I can afford to buy them from the Expo at a little bit higher cost than I get them at the bulk dealer. Let's go. So too much stuff. Cannot carry everything. All right, so I just got home from the Reptile Expo and I'm going to show you guys the supplies that I got. So typically at the Reptile Expo, I just kind of stock up for supplies that I'll need throughout the month and obviously feeders and stuff. So we will start with the supplies that I got. First thing I got is an eight quart bag of Aspen snake bedding. So this is for my Kenyan sand boa and my corn snake. So that should last me about a month for both of them. The next thing I got is natural chemistry reptile spray. So this stuff kills mites. My Colombian boa does have mites right now. So I am extra careful and I do treat like the cage and everything with mites it does take a little bit extra than if I was just treating the animal, but I want to be extra safe and treat everything around the animal as well because mites do travel. It's always good to keep on hand too, just in case, because mites are awful. <laughs> the next thing I got is RepTi-Safe water conditioner. This conditions the water and removes all the contaminants and the chlorine, so it makes it safe for the reptiles to drink. Just to keep everyone emotionally stable and everything, I'm not going to show you the live rats that I bought, but I did buy live rats because some of my snakes do eat live, so I got one large rat, three small rats and two weaned rats or hopper rats, whatever you decide to call them. Um, but I'm not going to show you those. And I also got a live pinky mouse because my Kenyan sand boa eats live. For the stability of everyone's emotions, I'm not going to show those on video, but just know that I did get them. Last but not least at the expo, I did get feeder insects. So first I got this culture of golden hydei fruit flies for my dart frog. Next I got 100 pinhead crickets. These guys are about an eighth of an inch. And these are also for my dart frog and my spiders. Then I got 100 super worms. Normally I get 250 super worms, but they only had containers of 100 left and I didn't want to be difficult. So I just got 100. It's not that big of a deal. If I end up running out, I'll just go and get some more later on in the month at the place that I usually buy them in bulk. But I only have one animal right now that's eating super worms. So I only got 100 this month. So yep, there's 100 super worms. The last thing I got is 80 dubia nymphs. So these guys are for my spiders my gecko and my tree frog and my dart frog can eat the really itty bitty ones but yeah that's everything that i got at the expo feeder wise today's thursday november 16th and i am going around to a couple pet stores to get some stuff for the critters so the first stop i'm doing is to the pet smart down the street from my house and then my second stop is pet people which is a sort of local pet store they've branched out recently but that's where I buy my dog food, my cat food, and my rat food. All right, so I'm outside of PetSmart and I'm not gonna bring my camera in because it's not like I need to go around and actually pick up the stuff because I put in an online order so I can just grab it and leave because I'm kind of in a rush because I've got other things to do today. So here's me being at PetSmart and in a few seconds, you'll see me again with all of the supplies from PetSmart. All right, so now I'm on my way to Tractor Supply to pick up food for my kitten. And I do have some news about the kitten. A lot of people are asking about Indy. He will not be with me for much longer. 
um, I decided that finding a new home would be best for him because he is a very super needy cat and with all of my other animals I can't give him the time that he deserves so I did give it a try but unfortunately we're gonna need to find him another home and it's really awesome because the animal rescue that I work with actually is taking him in to get him adopted so I'll be taking him to adoption events and stuff and I'll still be like I'll be his foster mom and everything and he'll still be living at my house um, but since I already got him completely vetted and everything he will start going to events in a couple of weeks and he'll find his forever home there so yep so now I'm going to tractor supply to buy his cat food So this is what my kitty eats, sensitive stomach formula, because he is a sensitive boy. Hello, it is much later in the evening and I'm headed over to Pet People to get other stuff. I think I mentioned earlier that I was going to Pet People, but then my plans slightly were pushed back, so now it's nighttime. We're still going to Pet People, but it's late. Here's my mom. Hello. The one and only. So let's go. All right, so this is the line of food that my pups eat and they are currently on the fish one because it is winter time and fish is good for their coat. Extra as heck. That's all. All right, these are the kind of dog treats that I use for my pups. It's actually a dog food, but they make really good treats as well. It's just air dried lamb. All right, this is what my cat eats. He's normally on the duck, but this is new, so we're getting this one instead, because it's fish. All right, so I'm home for the day, and I'm going to show you guys what I got pet supplies-wise today. So starting with tractor supply, I got 24 cans of 4Health Sensitive Stomach Wet Cat Food. So this stuff's actually a really good deal for what it is. It's a grain-free food, and it's only 69 cents a can. This is a little bit lower quality than the stuff that I normally feed my animals, but it's still a really good quality food. Unfortunately, the kitten I have right now has a really super sensitive stomach, so the only thing he can handle is this and raw food, so he gets both. So yeah, I got 24 cans of wet cat food from Tractor Supply. All right, moving on to the supplies that I got from PetSmart. So from PetSmart, I got two boxes of cat litter. This is 38 pounds of cat litter. It is Arm & Hammer Clump and & Seal, and it's a really good like odor controlling litter. So I got two boxes of that. Also from PetSmart, I got an adjustable litter scoop. So this thing literally looks like a shovel and I found it really humorous. And I was like, why not buy a new litter scoop? So I got a new aluminum litter scoop and I'm not really sure how to adjust it, but I guess we'll figure it out. But overall, it looks like a pretty nice looking scoop. The third thing I got from PetSmart is Nature's Miracle Cage Cleaner. So I use this stuff to sanitize the bars and the trays of the mice and the rats cages. So yeah, it's just a cage cleaner. This is 24 fluid ounces. And then last from PetSmart, I got um, four cubic feet of Aspen wood shavings for the mice and the rats. So yeah, this lasts a couple weeks usually. And it's just Aspen shavings for the small furry critters. So that's it for PetSmart. Now moving on to pet people. The first thing I got is 20 pounds of Oxbow Regal Rat Adult Rat Food. So they obviously don't normally stock this on the shelves, but I do special order it in whenever I need it. So yeah, just 20 pounds of rat food. <laughs> Next thing I got from pet people is Zeewee Peak Dog Food, which I actually use as dog treats. So this is a pound of dog food. It's just air dried lamb from New Zealand. They're already in these nice little bite sized pieces and they're perfect and the dogs absolutely love them and they're super healthy for them. So I use these as dog treats for not only my dogs but also the dogs that I train. The next thing I got is Romeo's cat foods. Romeo only eats kibble because unfortunately he refuses to eat anything else. So this is Pet Curie and Go. It's the Sensitivity and Shine limited ingredient diet. This is the Pollock recipe. They just started stocking this at my local pet people, so I'm really excited because it is a fish formula and it's getting to be winter time, so hopefully this will help with any dry skin and coat that comes with winter time. So yeah, it's Romeo's cat food. All right, and then last but not least from pet people, we got my dog's kibble. So this is Akena. It is the wild mackerel singles formula. This is 25 pounds and this lasts them around a month. So this is a really good dog food and they really seem to enjoy it. Um, it just depends on the season, but in the winter, I do put them on the mackerel formula because 
Like I said before, the fish oil helps with their skin and coat and keeping it nice and healthy. So yeah, that's my dog food. So that is everything that I got from the pet stores today. One thing that I forgot to show from the stuff that I got from pet people is this. It is called Plaque Off. It's just a sea kelp powder that you add to your dog's and cat's food and it helps raise the enzyme level in the mouth which keeps the plaque and tartar on their teeth down. So I forgot to show this because it was hiding at the bottom of the bag, so that's another thing that I got at Pet People. I said earlier that 100 superworms would last me an entire month and I was completely wrong. It's been a week now and I'm completely out of superworms, so tomorrow I do have to run to the bug store and pick up a thousand. And I'm also going to pick up 500 wax worms because I am helping out someone that I know who has an 18 and a half year old bearded dragon who stopped eating. So other than the stuff that didn't arrive from Amazon and my miscalculation with how many bugs I needed and the bug store being closed the weekend that I wanted to film and edit my video, that was everything that I got for my animals for this month within the past week. So I hope I got everything. I probably forgot some stuff, but Obviously now you guys can kind of get a better idea of how much I spend on my animals per month and what exactly it goes to. Obviously vet costs aren't factored into supply costs, so that's about what I spend on supplies each month for my animals. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment for me down below. You guys can check out all of my social media in the description down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Yeah.